Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from Nova Gundam, who is in the Blue Destiny Unit 3. It's kind of why I picked these two uh, to go together, since I, I wound up with the uh, guest rounds using related mobile suits. But yeah, Nova's in BD-3, which is a de uh, general. He's also using the 100mm machine gun Kai, which I don't know if that's ever gotten buffed, but it could use it. Fires a little slow, does pretty good damage, but yeah, it's not, it's not... Man, in GBO1, the uh, Kai was like head and shoulders above most of the other machine guns in the game for a long time. It kind of, the game kind of caught up with it, as it tends to do. But yeah, for a long time, that was the best machine gun in the game, and just, uh, ah, I, I kind of miss that when I'm using it in this, because it is, it's really not that great in this one. It's, it's a shame. I, I swear it's one of those things where it's about the same as it was in GB01, and it's just ever, the performance of everything else has uh, improved so drastically since then that it feels like a downgrade. But regardless, it, it is still a workable weapon. Like I said, there's very few weapons in the game, in my opinion, that are not workable. But, okay, slight ba uh, bounce there, but uh, got the damage in, so that's good. And that is, yeah, G-Line Assault Armor, I think it is? So yeah, that uh, can do a lot of good damage to that. Yep, over to the chest Vulcans. I'm pretty sure that counter will kill. Yep, got an assist. But yeah, it's uh, BD-3 is pretty good. It Again, it has most of the same capabilities as uh, BD-2, but only has a single beam saber. I want to say the missiles work very slightly differently too, but I can't remember. I know one uh, one's missiles work completely differently from what everybody else's do, but... I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, so far 1460 to 720, so almost exactly double. Not quite, but almost. Okay, 1265 now, so that's definitely not double. And good roll. And yep, missiles for the Gym 3. Presence of Gym 3, uh, you know, leads me to believe this is a newer round than the one I uh, ran yesterday. Which, yeah, because thinking about it, the presence of the, if, if the Rick Diaz and Kyaku Shiki had just been added, that's, that round's probably two years old. Man, yeah, this they really have added a lot to this game. But now Nova's got a problem, because Nova's the only one out there in a mobile suit. Well, their Desert Gym just spawned back in, but yeah, somebody got behind him. Um, this, yeah, this is, a, this is, you know, a bad scene. It looks like the support fire got a couple of people, though, so that's good. Um, I personally would be really tempted to pop exam at the moment and then run away, but good kill on that Gym 3. And, yeah, some good damage there. But, yeah, exam, of course, does boost your speed along with attack and defense. And it gives you double dodge roll and forced injector. I think you have forced injectors anyway, but, yeah, I think it improves your uh, thruster performance in general. So, yeah, uh, it, it, it boosts things quite a bit. I still want to get the White Rider and see how its version of Hades is, which I forget what it's called. I don't think it's Arius, which is the version that the Black Rider has. I think it's something else, but brain just gone. Might be Zeus, actually. But, uh, let's see. Trying to, uh, get the, uh, kill on that, but basically everybody was aiming for it, so. But now, kind of a bad scene, because, yeah, the, if they, yeah, good use of exam and good time to leave, because, the, yeah, if they, uh, if they have time to gun him down, the, that's, you know, the 800 hit points, it does not take very many bullets. As fast as that firing, oh, okay, G-Line standard. I was going to say, as fast as that firing was, it might have been a level 4 Jim Cold district, but not sure about that. There could be one here, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, and chest Vulcans, uh, and the chest Vulcans and head Vulcans can both be fired while boosting, so it's not a ton of damage, but it is damage. And yeah, the enemy team's caught up relatively well. They're only about 800 points behind, which is basically a kill and a half with assists and things factored in. And yeah, they're trying to, uh, okay, they managed, uh, Nova's team managed to keep point B. They've they've managed to lock up all of the, uh, all of the, uh, the uh, beacons, so... You know, t time to time to start uh, putting up hotels and you know hope people uh, hope people roll for them. But uh, let's see, three minutes twenty seconds left. Enemy team has the lead. I have a feeling that's going to be a fairly temporary situation. Nova's uh, chucking flash grenades because there's not much else you can do. 
that's actually kind of to his advantage getting killed there because yeah puts his team down another th uh, 25 points but also uh it means that uh, he can respawn in his mobile suit and not have to make a run for it while his uh, team's getting attacked at this waypoint so it's it's a strong it's actually not the worst thing because yeah they're they're kind of keeping his team busy and his team really does need to bunch up some here because they are very much spread out number five's in the desert gym and yeah they're yeah that's that's kind of why the uh, the uh, score has changed so much all of a sudden is because uh, Nova's team was kind of spread out, and the enemy team managed to get all concentrated on one point, which is pretty much what you need to do if you're going to turn something like this around. But now that uh, Nova's team is respawning and seems to be generally all in the same uh, neighborhood, they've got a good chance of taking it back, so... Especially since Nova just landed a couple of kills. That's kind of how it works sometimes, because, yeah, the, like I said, the enemy team is doing a fairly good job here of, of staying together, they got a beacon, which they very much needed. You know, they're, they're playing well, but a lot... The, they had the disadvantage that a lot of them were already low on health from the earlier skirmishes. So once, uh, you know, once Nova's team was able to rally a little bit, it was not uh, tough to uh, thin their numbers and, uh, you know, be able to uh, get some work in on them. But that Akzaku did not last very long. Yep, it's down. And, yeah, so they their Nova's team with 90 seconds left is keeping a very slim lead, but it is a lead. They, they're, well, uh, they're, it was a lead. It will probably be a lead again. It's, it's one of those things where the lead can bounce back and forth very quickly because it's basically one kill in either direction, you know. But, yeah, Nova's gotten quite a few good kills in here, done a lot of damage, and, yeah, the fact that you can uh, use those missiles while boosting means that you can use, uh, you can uh, fight while retreating fairly effectively. Took a shot there, but did manage to tag that, uh, that G-Line uh, assault armor, so that's good. And, yeah, it wasn't a very good position for him, though, so... Um, let's see, there's somebody coming up to, uh, to help out the, uh... Assault, so probably a good, yeah, just fighting while you backpedal, not a bad plan. I'd be thinking about exam at this point, but that's me. Uh, with 27 seconds left, there's not a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of reason not to take it, but, you know, just staying alive is the important thing, because if you can stay alive and get one more kill, you're, you've got it. Looks like his teammates may get that kill. Yep, they have. 200 point lead. Basically, the, the name of the game now is Stay Alive, which, yeah, time to use Exam and get your legs back. Unfortunately, Exam does not restore boost. So, it's only going to take one shot for Nova to get killed, but he managed to avoid that shot. So, good, good going there, because that was, yeah, that's pretty much the win right there, avoiding death. That's one of the hardest things I do in this, is, is I am not good at avoiding death uh, when it's clutch, but... Nova did it, had the top score with 2,060 points, and let's see, the final stats are uh, 4 kills, 1 death, 65,000 damage, not bad at all. So that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! And depending on how the attempt to get any other rounds goes, there may or may not be some more guest videos after this, but for now I'm just recording the two.